This is a DIY instant camera kit. I received this item for free from the Amazon Vine Voices Review Program. I have not been paid for my review and my opinions are my own. So this is basically a kid's digital camera with a built-in um, receipt paper thermal printer that can instantly print things in black and white on this receipt paper. So it comes with one receipt paper um, roll already installed, although you need to take the end of the paper over. So we take this and lay it over, snap this down, push it in place, and then the paper is loaded and ready to go. And you have two more rolls in here, and you can buy replacement paper relatively inexpensively. It also comes with a little lanyard with one of these um, release rings, so you can put the ring through this hole here. And then it can be worn with a lanyard. Also includes a USB A to USB C cable for charging. There is a port on the bottom here for USB to charge, and it includes a micro SD card in here. So this is a very generic 32 gigabyte micro SD card, but the card is removable if you want to get the photos off of it without using the USB port, or if you want to put in a different card. 32 gigabytes should be plenty for most child photographers. So I'm going to test this out. I'm also going to let my 11 year old test it out and I'll report back how it works. All right, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with the print quality you get on the little printer here. Um, this is my test subject and this is the grayscale printout. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's printed on a receipt paper, but it, you can definitely tell what it is that we took a picture of. There's also a dot mode, which gives a different effect, not quite as good of an effect in my opinion. Um, you know, but that's not bad. And of course it does take regular digital pictures. Um, but I think the coolness factor here is printing your own pictures whenever you want or even printing right when you take the picture. All right, let me walk you through the features of the camera here. So there's the power button, you hold it down. That turns on. And it basically has these six functions. So you can take a picture, you can take a video, you can play MP3s if somebody's loaded them onto the um, micro SD card. There's playback where you can look at photos and videos, and then there's games. Um, you know, so keep in mind this is a kid's a kid's uh, camera, and so having games on it is always impressive. Um, so my son liked the snake game, and there's four buttons you push here, and that was not the right one. So I think if you go down, there's down, and then there's up, but I can't go up. I think this button goes left, that button goes up, and this button goes right. So the left-right buttons are not super hard to figure out. You know, these are left, right, these are up and down. But that's the game. Um, it is the slowest game of Snake I have ever played. Um, and that's probably because <laughs> these buttons are so hard to figure out. But, so in any case, that's how you play the Snake game. The power button here typically goes back and exits from whatever you're doing. Um, it also has, I think the the best game out of all of them is this guy. The problem is it's hard to play because it's touchy um, on the controls. So, you know, you're not buying this as a game system, but my son kind of liked the game bit. Um, okay, so let's get back to real games um, or real functionality here. Um, so, photo mode. There's photo mode. And the key thing about photo mode is this OK button here toggles the automatic print. So it's between the battery and the 8 megapixel there. Um, and so generally, when you're taking a picture, you don't want to automatically print. Your kids might, but you probably don't want to automatically print unless you're happy with the picture. Now if you turn that on, as soon as you push that button, it will print 
what you just took a picture of. Which kids love, but, you know, goes through the paper pretty quickly. So my recommendation is tell them, hey, keep that thing off unless you really, you know, are happy with what you're taking a picture of immediately. Now the up and down buttons will go through all kinds of different cool modes. Um, you can do a, a f take multiple pictures at once, there's a five second, or take five pictures at once, there's a three second self timer, there's a five second self timer, ten second self timer, um, and then you get into things like this mode here which does a outline of the picture you took, or a colored outline of the picture you took. Um, then they have tints like red tint, green tint, blue tint, um, there's black and white. Here's mirror mode, and they have kaleidoscope mirror mode, and a couple of other kaleidoscope type weird mirror effects modes. So they also have lots of mirror modes. They also have things you can print on top of, or around, so you can put somebody's face in the Santa, um, you can have a beach scene, you know, they have a whole bunch of these photo frames where if you print, it'll print that photo frame on top of or around the image. So, you know, this is a kid's camera, it has all these fancy features. Um, so the easiest way to get out of those is to back out and then go back in to go back to the default, just take a picture. Now, the power button always goes back. We're going to move to the video mode, when you're in video mode, you can record a video, as you'd expect. Now, if you press and hold the OK button and hold it down, you get this fill light. So that's the other function of the OK button, is you can get a fill light. And that works for videos and photography. Okay, so now um, we're going to go to playback. So in playback, you can play the video. You can, so here's the video I just took. Or you can move to the next picture. So there's a picture of me um, in a frame and, you know, all kinds of various things you can do here. So here's the picture I took with the line setting and the black and white setting and, you know, the picture there. And if you want to print a picture that you've previously taken, you can push the OK button, it turns on the print thing, and then if you push the photo mode, or the photo button, it will print from the playback. So that's kind of how I recommend printing, um, is pick the best picture and then print that, but, you know, it's your kids. Um, and then, of course, they have the settings. And in the settings, you can change the language, you can change the print density. Um, I have it set at the highest density, number three, that seems to work well, but you can play with that. Um, they also have print modes, and you can do dot prints or gray prints, um, and, you know, there's different pictures that work better with different modes. So it's, you know, kind of play with it and see what you think. Um, they also have, you can set the date and time, um, and then they have the volume. So if you don't want it super loud, you can go down here and that's silent or, you know, just kind of low. There's video resolution, which is 1080p or 720p. And then you also have camera resolution, and it's 8 megapixel right now. You could set that lower. Um, this has a big enough memory card that I'm not too worried about filling it up. Um, you know, so I just left it at 8 megapixel. Um, and then you can format the SD card if you're, you know, if you're going to give this thing to Goodwill and you don't want any of your kids' pictures on it, just format the SD card before you give it away, that type of thing. Um, and auto power off, you can pick, okay, you know, the kid leaves it for five minutes, three minutes, one minute. Um, I, I don't recommend not having the auto power off. I recommend, you know, having a time where if your kid leaves the camera around, it auto powers off. Um, you know, and then there's screen savers so that it'll do some fancy animation. Um, cyclic record will basically erase your old stuff as you record new things. Things. Your frequency of your lights, you want to set that to your country's standards, so in my case it's 60 hertz. Um, and then there's default settings, you can set everything back to the defaults. And you can see the version here, so my version is version 3. Okay, so those are basically all of the features. I haven't showed you the MP3 mode, but if you load an MP3 onto the camera, you can select through them and play them. I don't have one on the camera. So those are the, that's the functionality of the camera and how it works user interface style. So if you press and hold the power button, it'll turn off. All right, I was 
pretty impressed with this guy. I thought that the thermal printing would be a, a little janky. Um, it's black and white, it's not super high resolution, but if you have a good high tr contrast photo, it represents that photo pretty well on that thermal photo paper. Um, I mean, it's not archival quality. If you leave that thing out in a hot car, it's going to turn black just like a receipt. But it is, for, for a kid's camera, it's pretty good. Um, you know, the image quality on the photos doesn't really matter because it's for photo paper. Um, if you pull the micro SD card and you look at some of these photos, the quality is reasonable for, you know, a camera in this price point. But it's certainly not going to beat, you know, any modern cell phone camera or real camera. Um, you know, it's pretty nice. We haven't run the battery down yet. Um, we probably have put two hours of screen time on this. Uh, we've only done about 20 or 30 prints, so I think if the more prints you do, I think that's where the power really goes, is the heater to heat up that thermal paper. So I think if you do a lot of prints, the battery will probably run down pretty fast. But just having the screen on and playing with the games and taking pictures, um, you know, it has a decent battery life. Um, and, you know, it's rechargeable, so you just plug the USB port in and charge it back right back up again. Um, so, yeah, this is a fun toy for kids. Um, I mean, <laughs> I kind of enjoyed playing with it, um, but, it, you know, it's definitely designed for kids. And, you know, it's a good camera for somebody who, you know, just wants to play around and take some pictures and print some things out.